it made it put a smile on my face. And uh, that was this wonderful news that Star Wars Black Series Reba Lightsaber yeah. replica failed to hit crowdfunding goal, will not enter production. There is some faith in humanity. Just, just, just not a lot. Not a, not a terrible lot. Just a little bit. Because, you know, it it just goes to show there's no money in these Disney shows. No, they like to but talk, he... but They like to, you know, uh, go after all the old, old fans and stuff like that. Anybody that's criticizing this dog water ass uh, uh, show Thank you. characters and stuff like that. But you know what? I ain't <laughs> you know, but here, here's the thing. You know what I, I, I think is going to happen or come from this? They're going to say that everybody that didn't buy a lightsaber or even his lightsaber is a racist. And they're the same people that yeah. flooded her inbox with all these uh There's another funny thing, though. And uh, before, I get, yeah, before I guess we get, it, we get into this, let me, sh- let me show that off, too. Hilarious of this uh, company on top of it. Let me... Um, just thankfully, uh, old uh, Jeremy over uh, at Geeks and Gamers, he, he had uh, retweeted this. So, from Hasbro Pulse, unfortunately, the Star Wars Black Series Reva, the third sister, Force FX Elite Lightsaber, did not reach the minimum backing goal needed to move into development. Thank you to all the fans who supported this project and every fan who shared their passion and enthusiasm. The thing is, though, they turned off the replies. They can't even get any direct feedback to maybe improve or stuff like that. Okay, so oh, ha- we carry and learned lessons with every, uh, every HasLab project and continue taking in additional fan feedback as we That's progress. Funny. With so many... Uh, or with, a, with so many galactic possibilities out there, we look forward to bringing you new Star Wars HasLab concepts in the future. Uh, kind of difficult to do that when you can't actually get direct feedback from people, from That's the funny. quote unquote fan base. So, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know who, who they'll be going after when the, I mean, what are you going to do? That's funny. That's hilarious. It's like, it's so it's so stupid that it's funny. We value your uh, feedback, but we're not gonna. It's like what they did. It, didn't they, like Disney Celebration or something? Didn't they do that where they were like wanting feedback, but then they they shut off the comments or something? There's something that happened at like Celebration. I think I was reading or something with Star Wars. Oh, uh, Lucas, oh, were was you that like, yeah, one of the live streams. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yes, they turned um, off all the comments for a live stream, which is absolutely stupid. Yeah, again, that's like it defeats the purpose of having the the fan celebration, and then you turn off the ability for the fans to speak, if anything, to each other, but you know, on the stream itself. Yeah, it doesn't exactly encourage uh, fan interaction or anything. No, it's, it's so first. stupid. It's like, hey, everybody, come join us for Saturday Night Sith number twenty eight. Uh, we want your feedback. Just be sure to let us know, and yeah, then we just leave. Like, comments. yeah, yeah and then we, and then we just like remove the comments. It, yeah, making the enabled uh, unable to do so. It's like, uh, what? <laughs> so let's get into this. So why do you think it failed? Like, I'm super excited that it failed because not only do I think that Reva, the character, not Ingram Moses, I want to be sure to put that out there because I know somebody will call me racist. Uh, uh, the character, you don't, even, you don't even have to. Call. Just, just go for it. No, I know. The character. The character. The character. Yeah. Bad. It was just bad across the board. Direction was, you know, non existent, basically, because they. I mean, people want to criticize how, how wooden and stiff some things could be with the prequels, but I mean, just why. I mean, watch Kenobi to see the destruction. I mean, it, yeah, there's continuity, there's some continuity errors with prequels and stuff. There are some things I felt like could have been elaborated upon, but this freaking show. <laughs> Listen, how dare you? Jar Jar has feelings, too. How dare you do that? Abrams didn't know what he was doing. I would think a show involving... Okay, you know what? I, I'm not going to finish 
please do. It's a it, it, hey, this is a okay, tree yeah. of trust. That's no judgment. I'll watch, I'll watch a Jar Jar centric show before I watch Kenobi ever again. I'm surprised Disney Plus still has it on there. I'm surprised they haven't taken it down. Oh, they're not going to admit to their mistakes. Nobody uh. talked about that. They're never going to do something like that. And I'll, we'll just continue to laugh. <laughs> yeah. So with this specifically, so this day even hit, like, so they were doing like, so explain this this process because I'm trying to like I'm trying to figure this out. So this obviously didn't even hit Kickstarter Indiegogo. So they were just trying to get funding no, were, to release no, it. Were, no, no, they were they were basically trying to um, get the funding to make the either make the lightsabers or to or just get the uh, selection of people that were wanting one of these lightsabers. Um, but the thing is, is for one, you had a. a uh, you have a price point of four hundred ninety nine ninety nine uh, for plat. That's of, that must it, be it had a minimum of five thousand fans to back it. You know, but at the end of the day, they only round up with four one thousand four hundred thirteen people. And I want to be completely honest, real quick and transparent, that that fourteen thirteen is probably friends and family of Disney. Uh, These are probably employees. Fun. Although uh, uh, Jeremy over at Geeks and Gamers and uh, Ryan for, from RK Apples, they were kind of joking around the other night on the stream saying uh, after they made some videos about this whole, you know, stupid lightsaber that they had seen some tick ups on the backers and they were wondering if that was possibly from them, the people just, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, doing the whole spite funding sort of thing. Yeah, but you probably would, you probably are far off from the mark on that. It wouldn't surprise me if this was just you know the few crew that actually liked this. This, this. well, okay. You take a generic thing like the Inquisitors, and for if anything, the Inquisitors lightsabers. They all look the same. There's no distinction. You might as well just said this was the Inquisitor's lightsaber. You might have gotten some more backers out of it. Well, you this is what's... Throw, yeah. You didn't need to throw your new OC character onto this thing that was already poorly received. I mean, that alone was kind of your kick in the nuts. But if you just maybe made it more of a broad sort of thing, they might have gotten a little more. But oh, I'm trying. it makes you know. Regardless, I'm just glad that people weren't buying into this stupid lightsaber. I mean, the whole Inquisitor's lightsaber is already. Uh, it it was a not it was a stupid and nauseating thing to see when they first debuted them in the Rebel show. So I'm gonna drop something in the private chat here. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I it's just ridiculous. Well, it's just funny because, uh, like, uh, they say, like, with its failure to secure proper funding, Revis Lightsaber has become a second half offering to fail to meet its fan demand milestone. First being the Black Series release of the Rancor. However, the Rancor fared much better than Revis Lightsaber, ultimately failing to enter production by the significantly smaller margin of 467 backers, ending with a total of 8,533 supporters out of a bigger target of 9,000. Yeah. So now, I don't know why this one didn't, I don't know, I, I remember seeing some people um, uh, talk about it, and they weren't too, too uh Enthusiastic about it due to quality or something. I forget the what? lightsaber or this no, this rancor. rancor. Yeah, rancor. It's, it looks Pretty terrible. Rancor. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just like looking. I'm like it doesn't look half bad, but I don't. Well, know. People, okay, people if you're actually seeing that, I'm not. So I mean, there's always. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Compared to the lightsaber, it looks immaculate, but yeah, I still yeah, think I don't probably know why. It's like comparing between the two, and I was like, yeah, I'm seeing. Uh, 
Okay. So how much? Uh, how much is this thing, though? How much is it? I don't is know this? How much, uh, hang on. They, I, they had a. Let's see. Um. The page doesn't specify what pricing it was at. So I don't know. I don't know how much this was. What this was going for when they um, launched the the backing project. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. I would have been. It would have been kind of an interesting thing to kind of get an idea on how much that actually was. But, yeah. I don't know. but I mean, like they they like go on to say, otherwise every other HasLab offering included high end, large scale figures of Transformers, Unicron, Marvel Comics, Galactus, and a vintage collection release of Din Yarns like Razor Crest has not only secured their necessary funding. But impressively exceeded their initial goals. There's Galactus there. Huh, it. Well, that doesn't that doesn't surprise me so, though with Din Djarin since he's the new Boba. Yeah, the new Boba Fett there. Okay. Yeah, I I mean it's just it's just funny that what aunt is on there and is you know, currently far exceeding their goals. Like the, um, what was it? The, oh, listen, okay, so they got the, the new Black Series Obi-Wan Bum Kenobi. Uh, uh, what, did you just call it Bum Kenobi? Yeah, Bum Kenobi. Uh, That's great. This is, oh, this is, just, this is just doing pre-orders. No, uh, no backers in here, I'm sure. I'm gonna bet Dabias is all over it. <laughs> he already ha he already has it and is uh it's already on the way. I mean, what well, was funny? This this Cobra Jeep, sixteen thousand backers out of his eight thousand gold, far exceeding certainly what it said that, and it's still got thirty to, thirty days to go. And look at this. This is just I mean, it's just two hundred dollars cheaper. I mean. Yeah, two ninety nine. 